Yeah, we've had a lot more detail uh, from the Department of Defense about how they shot this down and the way they shot it down. That's crucial to retrieving that payload, which we'll talk about. This is how it happened. The balloon was at 60, 65,000 feet. The F-22 learned on that when it fired the missile that brought this balloon down. Where it landed is really, really key to this whole thing. They waited until it was over water, but within the 12 miles of United States territorial water, and also not too far from the coast, because that means it was only 47 feet down. This isn't to scale. So it is retrieval. What are they hoping to achieve, and why was it put here? Important here because, Tom, this is shallow water. It's a very narrow window. This water, this shelf drops off pretty quickly. And so they only had a certain amount of time to make sure it came down here. It looks as if they more or less hit the bullseye. And if it's only 50 feet down, they will recover it. They will get it back. Now, initially, the Chinese said this has been blown off course. And I want to show you a map after this, really, that shows bad balloons. It might make sense. This is stratospheric wind at the altitude the balloon was out from the Earth Null School. Um, you can see, OK, maybe there's not much we can do about that. The wind is blowing a certain way. But I'll show you, this is a higher altitude. See, the winds are going a different way. So it looks like you can choose your winds. This, do you think this was really blown off course? No. I mean, balloons can go up and down, and they will change direction with the, with the prevailing currents. Even if it was off course, the Chinese have a duty in, their case, in that case to bring it down before it goes into anyone else's airspace. Well, I mean, the latest statement from China is that it was uh, irresponsible, an excessive reaction from the United States to shoot <laughs> this down. This is a video uh, from just doing the rounds on Chinese social media from 2019. It shows a Chinese jet going up to shoot down a weather balloon. You'll see the remnants of that weather balloon. Here's a missile strike after this. There is a lot of fear to hear, a lot of posturing. Talk about this balloon gap as well. But there's a serious point, isn't there, about the technology rivalry between China and the US. What have we learned from this? Yeah, I mean, what we know is that any object in somebody else's airspace can be shot down. And if you're talking about China or America, they will tend to do that. And there's a sort of an interesting uh, dynamic between high-tech jets like the F-22 and much more simple balloons, albeit with some pretty high-tech stuff hanging below them.